Today on the beginner series, it's time to talk about camber and towing and how it affects your RC vehicle. Hey guys, Rich here from the RCNetwork.com and today on the beginner series, it's time to talk about camber and tow in angle and exactly what they do on your RC vehicle. Now, of course, I have my team associated Pro Rally right here to demonstrate how that all happens. So let's get to it. So to best describe what camber is, it's basically the angle of the tires. In other words, these right here are actually angled inward or representing a negative camber. I've removed the ball stud turnbuckle just to show us how this is actually done. Now there is also positive camber and that would actually be rotating it this way. A lot of off-road vehicles actually like to use a negative camber situation because it widens the track of the vehicle, makes for a little bit more stable vehicle on the turns and even on the straights. So before we start measuring and adjusting the camber on my Pro Rally, you do need to have a couple of things on hand. The first thing is going to be a camber gauge. And I have the J Concepts version right here. Pretty nice, it works for most 10 scale vehicles and it does a good job. You'll also need a turnbuckle wrench that fits your vehicle. Now the four millimeter MIP wrench fits the Pro Rally perfectly. If you're on a budget, you can grab a simple speed square and maybe a wrench you received in one of your RTR vehicles, it's a simple fix to get your camber adjusted and you can pretty much eyeball it for negative or positive. When you test your camber, you'll want to have a very flat, sturdy surface to work on. You'll also want to have your vehicle 100% ready to run. So that means battery and body installed and the vehicle. Now for this video, I will have it off of the vehicle just so you guys can see a little bit better. So measuring your camber is pretty easy. You wanna go ahead and grab your vehicle, pick it up to about a foot off of the hard work surface, let it go ahead and fall setting into the suspension, and you wanna go ahead and take your measurement. Now, it definitely looks like I have some negative camber there on the rear tire. So we bring in the camber gauge, and right there it's measuring at about a negative four right now. So I wanna back that off a little bit. I wanna run at about negative one. Now, like I said, typical off-road vehicles will run just a little bit of negative camber in the rear tires just to give a little bit wider stance on the turns and the straights. So now to actually adjust the camber, we're going to be lengthening this turnbuckle right here. This actually adjusts how wide the wheel sets from the vehicle. And if your turnbuckles are set up correctly, we're going to go ahead and turn it towards the front of the car to actually widen that turnbuckle. So got my wrench right here. We're going to go ahead and turn it towards the front. A couple of turns here, and then we'll take another measurement for the camber. So going to go ahead and lift it up, drop it back down and set my camber gauge to negative one and go in and that's touching both the bottom and the top of the tire now. So perfect uh, negative one camber set on my rear wheels. Now another trick you can also do is go ahead and spin this wheel around to the opposite side in case you happen to have a bent wheel or bent something and go ahead and drop that back down again, take another measurement and we're right on it. Now, as far as the toe angle of the front wheels, I went ahead and flipped my Pro Rally around. You're looking at the front end of the vehicle now. Now, toe is basically how much of an angle your front tires are pointed in. Now, right here, the Pro Rally is set up perfectly straight. There's not really a gauge for the toe angle. It's pretty much an eyeball measurement. Now, as far as the toe angle, you want it pretty straight in most off-road vehicles. Some vehicles will like a little bit of toe out. Uh, that will give a little bit more aggressive steering on the turns. So once again, this is a turn buckle adjustment, but instead of adjusting the camber link right here, we're gonna be messing with the steering linkage on the far end of this vehicle. Now, some vehicles do not use this type of toe adjustment. If you're running pillow ball suspension, it'll be a little bit different. Now with this right here, as long as we go ahead and shorten the turn buckles, you'll actually get a little bit of a toe out angle. And like I said, that will give you a benefit if you're running a tight 
tight track and get you a little bit more aggressive steering. Now with that right here, I'm set perfectly square or parallel. And if you think about a toe out angle, this tire over here will actually turn in a little bit quicker and get a little bit more angle on the inside of the turn. Well guys, that is a quick explain on camber and toe in or toe out angle. It definitely benefits almost any RC out there. It gives you a little bit better driving and stability. And with that, this is a pretty easy item that almost anyone can adjust. Well guys, that is it for now. If you have any comments or questions about this video, feel free to post it on down below. And as always, thumbs up and subscribe. That's it for now guys, over and out.